Hello everyone and welcome to the new series for the channel. The concept is very simple. We are going to pick some heroes, champions or even classes from other games and quickly reproduce them inside RPG Builder and Unity. I said we because you are of course free to suggest me the next one you would like to see in the videos on both the comments and in Discord. Something I also wanted to make very clear before starting this series and this video is that um, none of those videos are made to um, have a polished or pretty result. The animation are going to be place orders, the spell effect are going to be put together very quickly. The only goal of those video is to show the power of RPG Builder inside Unity and how quick it is to put together some very complex and advanced combat mechanics without ever writing a single line of code. So the, the part of making all of that pretty is your job, not mine, right? So now let's go over Brand really quickly for those who are not familiar with him. The reason I picked him is because he has uh, a lot of nice interactions between his own abilities and mechanics. As you can see, each of his abilities, including the ultimate, has a um, special action or effect triggered when uh, the target already has the blaze effect on it. I'm not going to go too much in detail on those abilities. I don't want this to be too long, but basically he has a projectile which is dealing damage to the first target hit. And if this target has blaze, it's also going to stun it. The second one is a ground abilities which deals AOE damage and targets with a blaze effect on them is, are going to take 25% bonus damage. The third one is a damage over time on the target, which is going to spread around the target. And the ultimate is a projectile that once hitting the first enemy is going to start um, kind of chaining and bouncing uh, through nearby units. And also it's going to slow enemies which are already affected by blaze. Now, something else I wanted to say is that for those videos, this one and all the next one, I'm not going to show the process of creating the spell effect and animation and things like that. There are other videos and documentation about that. And I want to try to keep those as short as possible because I think it's still going to take, you know, uh, at least 10 or 15 minutes to create brand. So now let's quickly get started. We open the editor and the first thing we would have to do is to start creating some new effects. Like I said, the first ability has two. The first one would be a instant damage when the projectile hits, and the second one would be the stun effect when the blaze condition is met. So we can have a new effect here that we will call Sear Damage. It doesn't need an icon, it's never going to be visible in the UI because it's instant. It's instant damage. Also, something I forgot to say, um, the values for damage, cooldown, all of that does not matter in those videos. It's really just for uh, display purposes. So, it's going to do uh, one of the damage. It's going to damage the help, of course, but we could, of course, choose to damage the mana or whatever uh, vitality stat you want. And it's going to be a, a magical damage. So that's pretty much it for this effect, but we still want to play some particles when it hits. So I'm going to apply the sear hit logic uh, prefab that I prepared here and save that. Now we're going to create the sear stun. And this one needs an icon because it's actually going to be visible in game. And I'm going to pick this one. This is going to be an effect of type stun. The duration is 1.5 seconds. And that's pretty much it. That's all we needed to do. Now, we can already create the Seer ability. So let's do that. We go to Combat, Abilities, New. And here I'm going to assign the uh, icons I picked for that. A quick note, the icons I'm going to use for those videos are from Ponity. And all the spell effects are from Gabriel Aguirre. Both those developers are partners of uh, myself. And so, of course, RPG Builder. And I highly suggest you to check their work. It's pretty good. So, uh, stun time is going to be one, um, 0 0.25. As you can see, each ability here has a 0 0.25 uh, cast time, which is what they call, but in, um, in LOL, it's actually some stun time. So, this is going to be an ability of type projectile. The speed also doesn't matter exactly because the values for LOL are not really matching how the logic works here, but we're going to make it match more or less um, what it is in League of Legends. Now the distance could be something about 25 meters. It's going to spawn only one projectile. And it's pretty much it. It's going to hit only one enemy. So after one hit, it's going to be destroyed. Now the hit settings are going to be neutral and enemy if we are ally. Cooldowns, I'm going to set it to two so we can trade often. And it's going to have to apply two effects. Now, before going further, I'm actually going to go back to effect and create the uh, blaze effect. 
and the icon for that is going to be something like that the blaze effect remember is uh, the effect that each ability is applying and also the effect that is used to trigger extra actions so it's a damage over time which is going to deal maybe 50 and uh, health and it's going to be magical and it's going to be for three seconds and three pulses and it's also going to stack up to three times and i'm also going to apply the um zero hit logic particle to this so every time it's pulsing it's going to play this particle now let's go back to the seer ability and to the effect applied so the first one is going to be the seer damage we created and the second one is going to be the uh, blaze effect now we also need to apply a stun if blaze is active on the target right so we have a conditional effect here and here we will require the blaze one so what this says uh, is pretty much if the target has the blaze effect on we can now trigger this part and this part is going to be the sear stun very simple right this one is going to have two visuals the first one is going to be the sear projectile and the second one is going to be an animation I'm going to use uh, one from the demo, which is the fireball one. It's not going to look perfect, but remember, that's not the point. That's it. Now, um, Seer is created. Let's go to the second ability, Pillar of Flame. Now, this is uh, only one effect, and we need um, a instant damage effect. So, Pillar of Flame is going to be instant damage, and this is going to be also maybe 50 damage, and it's going to... Um, deal health damage it's going to be magical and now we need here the blaze effect to deal 25 percent more damage if this is active right remember here uh if pillar of flame if um blaze is active pillar of flame deals 25 percent uh, bonus damage so here what we say is on the pillar of flame damage if when this hits the target the effect required here so blaze is on the target we now deal 25 percent extra damage and i'm also going to assign the um sear hit logic here so it's also going to play some particles when it's hit so that was quick and easy we can uh, now create the pillar of flame ability and use the icon now also going to be a 0.25 second stun time and this is going to be a ground ability reduce is going to be two 10 uh, for the range it's gonna hit only one time and it's going to hit up to 15 different units now it's going to hit neutral analyze two second cooldown and it's going to apply the uh, pillar of flame damage that's pretty much it that's all we needed except the um we now need to assign the pillar of flame logic effect here on the activate function now third one uh, target ability which is applying a dot and it's spreading to a uh, unit so new effect conflagration and we have the conflagration icon here it's instant damage this one is going to be 80 and it's going to, de to do health of course magical damage this is damage over time, I forgot to select that. And it's going to be five seconds, five pulses, and it's going to stack, I think just one time. It's also going to play the uh, sear hit logic effect. So that's pretty much it. I just want to check the blaze if I assign the uh, stack. Yeah, this is correct. All right, so now we can create the ability. Conflagration. also uh, 0 0.25 stun time this is going to be a target instant ability range max is going to be something like 20 it can hit neutral and enemies effect applied is going to be conflagration and now you see that we have an option for spread to nearby units and we will take this on and we will make it spread up to uh, four units and the maximum distance should be maybe two or maybe three let's put it to three now that's it we don't need a visual actually because the visual is already on the um, effect so that's pretty much it um, for the uh, you know conflagration ability we can now save that and we need to focus on the pyroclasm so this is going to be one instant damage effect and one slow effect so let's create those pyroclasm 
Pyrogasm. I think that's how it's done. Okay. And the icon. Actually, we don't need the icon and the effect, but whatever. The damage is going to be 250, for example, to make a big difference. Health, magical. And that's it. Now the heat is also going to use a heat effect, but this time it's going to be a paroclasm. It looks a bit bigger and better. Now we have paroclasm slow effect. And this is going to have an icon because it's going to be visible. I'm going to just use this one. This is going to be a stat effect, movement speed. So stat effects are altering, you know, well, stats of the target hit. And in this case, it's going to be minus 50%. The duration of pink is 0 0.25. Let me make sure. 0 0.25. And uh, it's going to stack only once. And that's pretty much it. No other setting. So this is going to be slowing the target by 50% for 0 0.25 seconds. And we can save that. Now we can go to abilities, paroclasm, and create the last one. Known. Up. Sometimes 0 0.25. Projectile. Speed is going to be very slow for this one. I think it's even 20. I mean, it's very slow in LOL, so I'm not sure exactly how much it should be, but 25 is slow. So count only one. Um, but this one is also going to, cha to chain, right? And bounce between units, remember? So we have the chain effects here. And the distance max is going to be 8. And it's going to chain up to 10 units just for fun. It's much more than uh, LOL, I think, but it's okay. Cool down also to effect applied. So this is going to be paroclasm. And conditional effect, if blaze is active, we now also apply the paroclasm slow. Here also two um, visuals. The first one is going to be paroclasm logic. And the second one is going to be the animation from the uh, demo. And that's pretty much it for all our abilities. So I'm going to save that. I'm going to quickly check um, if I, I, we need the known um, Field here checked so that I don't have to manually learn them in game and it's going to be added to our bar automatically. So that's all good. Now, the last thing we need to do is go to the talent tree which I prepared for Brand and add four nodes for each of those abilities. So the first one is going to be Seer. This doesn't really matter by the way, um, uh, the, the things I'm doing right now because it's. Um, it's not really going to be needed for this video, but uh, the nodes here are needed. So two and four here, conflagration. Also, if you wonder how this uh, talent tree uh, module works, it's very simple, but there are videos on that and I'm not going to cover this in um, this one. Paroclasm. Okay, let's just make me check really quickly if it's correct. This needs to be four. So we have Seer, Pillar of Flame, Conflagration, and Paroclasm as uh, our abilities in the Brown Talent Tree. Now we have the Brown class with the Brown Talent Tree assigned to it. And we have the uh, Human Race with Brown on it. So it's perfect. We can now go in game and create our new character. So we see that we have Human and the Brown class. And I'm going to call the Brown video. All right, so we are now in game. I set up a bunch of dummy targets, some which are just one and some which are uh, very close from each other to uh, test things. So here, we don't need a target for the um, view or the first ability. You see that it's, you know, a projectile in front of us. And if it hits someone, so in this case, this unit, it's applying the blaze dot, like we said it. So first it's doing 100 damage for the instant damage, and then it also has the blaze. And the blaze is stacking up to uh, three times, right? And now you saw that uh, there was a um, second effect. So let me do it again. This is the stun. So the stun effect, which is applied only when blaze is active, right? This is not happening now, but now blaze is active. So the next time it's also going to stun. And now you see that blaze is stacking three times and now it's also active. Anyway, so uh, the second ability is Pillar of Flame, which is this ground uh, targeted ability. And this is going to uh, do damage after a duration. And I actually forgot to set this duration. So we're going to do it now in game and look for Pillar of Flame and ground for the delay. Let's check what it is on the website. 
I think it's 0, yeah, 0, 6, 27. So let's make it exactly like in LOL, 0, 6, 27, and save that. And that's it. We can already test it in game. And you see now the damage is not instant. It's after 0 0.627 seconds. So we first do it on the ground. It's kind of charging and then it does damage. And you see that the uh, range of the ability is limited. Your cursor is further, but it's not going uh, more than 10 meters away. So that's pretty much it. So this is also working. And it seems I forgot to um, do something else, which is Pillar of Flame. I forgot to assign also the Blaze effect. Here. So here, Pillar of Flame also has to apply Blaze. And I guess I also forgot it on the other ones. Yes, so here Conflagration should also apply Blaze. You can save. And you see it's actually, well, kind of a good thing for me to forget that because it's giving me the opportunity to show you that you can tweak and change those things in game without any issue. Save, close the editor, we're still in game and now it's going to work exactly how you want. So it's first doing the instant damage of Pillar of Flame and it's also applying the uh, Blaze effect to all those targets here. So pretty cool. Now, the third one is um, the conflagration unit, right? So here, I'm going to use it on the target. It's instant, and it's applying a conflagration plus blaze. So in this case, it has two dots. That's not the one I wanted to use. This one. So first, we have the um, conflagration here, which is lasting longer, like five seconds. And we also have the blaze effect added to that. Now, we have the ultimate, which is going to look fun, I think. Um, yeah, so it's a projectile and after it's hitting, you know, one um, enemy, it is now going to um, kind of bounce to units, nearby units. So it's kind of cool. And on top of that, it's applying a uh, dot. So it's pretty fun. Now, I want to try something which is the 25% damage bonus uh, on Pillar of Flame. So Pillar of Flame with no bonus is doing uh, 50 instant damage. Let me make sure again. So yes, 50. And now let's try on this one. So it did um, 62. So that's 25%. Uh, and um, concerning the this one, uh, I want to try with also Blaze. So it should apply the slow effect. You see, it was very short because it's 0 0.25 seconds, but it did work uh, here. And actually, we could, for example, set this here. And it's going to apply it while well, it went to the left. I wanted it to go to the right. <laughs> but um, let's say I'm going to apply to those. Up. And now it's going to apply the slow to all of them. Once again, it was very short, but um, it did work. So yeah, that's pretty much uh, Brand in a nutshell. I mean, obviously, uh, like I said before, the, there is no like proper animation. There is no... Um, uh, I mean, the spell effect could be worked on even for... Uh, Things that look actually really good. I don't. I didn't do much. I pretty much use uh, ready to use prefabs from uh, Gabriel Acquire, and um, but yeah, you know. Now something important to note also is that these mechanics, each of those, will work in any um, camera view. So we can be uh, fully aiming up, down, uh, the ground target also, even the target ability. So here you see that if I click. Um, I can aim and use those targeted abilities and I can also use the ultimate. All of that just works fine as well as for um, the top downs, for example. So we could go here and uh, use those abilities just without any issue. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you like this video. It's already pretty long, almost 20 minutes. Um, I'm going to try to get better at that, uh, at making those videos and make them shorter. Hopefully it was not too long to watch. Thank you anyway. I hope you like it. Let me know if you like the concept of this series, if you want more. And definitely suggest um, in the comment or on Discord what should be the next videos about. So yeah, see you in the next one.